what has happened is a colossal military disaster. We shall go on to the end. We shall never surrender. You're very, very well known. Did anyone ever say to you, hey, why, why would you need to audition? No, there was never really that part of the of the process. Um, it was kind of a project that obviously I, I heard about and um, felt like it was going to be something that was amazing and I felt like if I wasn't involved it would be something that I'd be looking forward to seeing as a fan. I don't know if daunting's the right word. Did, did you have thoughts in your own mind? Am I able to do this? Am I not able to do this? Of course, yeah. I think any time you're doing something new, it's a little vulnerable, but it wasn't, it never felt like it was about me in any part. It was, you know, I feel very lucky to have been part of this project and, you know, get to work with these actors and me and Finn actually auditioned together. Yeah, I think um, you were in good company. There was a lot of newcomers on the set, so I don't yeah. think it was, you know. And, and, and then does Christopher create an atmosphere or what makes you all feel, I mean, because the performances here across the board, you know, Mark Rylance, Kenneth Branagh, who know their way around this mm -hmm. stuff, and then the two of you and the other, the younger actors, no. all really good. What, what did Christopher do? The way he carries himself on set means that um, you really put at your ease very quickly. So that kind of all the nerves that you have when you're starting, which you're obviously going to be there because it's Chris and everyone, everyone likes him. Even if you're not a fan, everyone likes him. Um, but I think they're put it put to rest quite quickly because of how he conducts himself and how he works. It's very it's very normal. Like he makes you forget that you're on this huge film set. It could almost be a little indie because of he's so present and hands on with his direction, behind every shot and always there. He's the first to get there and the last to leave. It, it makes you feel like you're in very good hands. Mm. And it means that there's no hierarchy. So whether it's your first thing or you've done a hundred films and you've won an Oscar, it felt like there was just a lot of people that were passionate about the project, willing to work their hardest. When you saw it, what did you think? Well, the amazing thing is that there wasn't any enhancements afterwards. Um, you Not know, many, anyway. There was you know, we kind nothing. of did everything that was going on, they, they did, which is obviously part of what made the experience so amazing, is just the sheer scale of the production was so ambitious and, you know, something that a director like Chris can do. Putting it together, you know, obviously having the movie split into the land, sea, and air, and getting to see it as a as a whole piece uh, is amazing. Plus the score, it's hard to kind of tell what it's going to be when you're when you're obviously on set and mm. um, doing a scene at a time and, and watching yeah. it. I, I think it's especially great. I think the script was so technical as well. That yeah. it was hard to imagine how it would turn out because there is very little dialogue. It, mm. it was hard to. I think once we started filming, you got a bit more of a sense of what it was going to be like, but it was still quite hard to imagine. 